Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Unity Tutorials um, an FPS game. Uh, this is just a small um, guide or tutorial to test my skills and uh, to make sure that I'm not getting rusty. So, as I said before, today we want to get, um, you create a reload, a reload UI and a function. Uh, so that we run out of ammo and just don't infinitely shoot and uh, yeah we, we are going to use um pro text mesh or something i, I don't remember what, I, I don't quite remember the name but uh, it should be text mesh pro we want, to, we want to create our ui with that and we want to code the, the rest of the things in the script okay so just one second my Unity is loading. It seems to be lagging. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so if you don't have Text Mesh Pro, you can go to uh, Window and go to uh, Package Manager and just uh, write to Text Mesh Pro. Um, then there is a package. Then you just need to install it, and there you go. So yes, Text Mesh Pro. So when to create. Uh, a text mesh pro and it will create a canvas and a event system you just don't need to worry about those for now so we are in, in our game we need to go to our canvas we need to do it um ui or you can write hud if you want to you want to go to um canvas scale or you to scale with screen size and we want to just match it so 0 0.5 so if we make it small, it should be there. If we make it big, it should be there. So now let's go to text mesh pro and write um, cap I mean cap mean capacity and more or capacity or it means how much we can hold like not in our magazine but on our player. So cap ammo UI and hmm, I do an idea. Let's just uh, create an empty object if you create an empty object in the UI to just create a react transform like uh, image just want to do um mo UI then we can drag this right in here then we can say um we can say cap cap UI then we can also create another one which say clip how much ammo we can hold in our clip clip UI and uh, let me just think for a while cap will be zero 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 or oh, we can just have two zeros and this will be zero so for now let's take our capacity ammo and click on this and uh, hold shift and alt to put it down hmm. oh we can just put this down but uh, have this one at the center as you can see so for the we can we can do it in our scene i'm not very familiar with this since i spent some time since i um i i used uh, um text macro or used dmt so we just going to press f we will go in here and uh, sorry ignore any audios you might have heard i'm going to put this right below right there or wherever you want and then we'll put this right here we'll also create something and we'll create a let's duplicate our cap and write on line i don't know a better way to do who this you guys might but I don't so you want to create something like this and like that so we can like do this right here and the this can go right here you guys might not like this but this might be just temporary I don't know I might just change it you can also change the color 
of this line to whatever you want I prefer white okay so now hmm. yeah we will go into our code and our gun shooting script we want to create some variables I just copy a header and what to do header and to write it down ammunition ammunition and reload but to the site ammo for now and we are going to create uh, um some floats and ints so we'll create uh, 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 sterilized field and copy this I don't have to keep writing it and I'll just copy it and protected uh, I'm just copy this <laughs> sorry sorry okay so protected I'm going to create int you want to say um current uh, current ammo and then we'll create another one with int int and refer to size or you can say exime size however you prefer it then I also create two more ints on say um, current capacity. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Hmm. Current capacity and just one second. Ah, I'm getting confused. Uh, int then uh, max capacity max capacity and also just one more um, it's going to be float and say reload time then we're going to go below go below hmm. you can write this here or you can uh, write them in the factory of choice I'm going to go below into our input and say if if input don't get get key down get key down key code R and we are aren't already going to create a bool as well going to here uh, sterilized size field Protected uh, bull bull is loading. Let's say we are not reloading. If you are, if you aren't already loading, and and current current ammo is is. Um, is less than zero. Hmm. No, not that. I say um current capacity is greater than zero. Then I want to say reload. Reload. I want to create function then start quarantine then. Need to do this. this reload. Um. I'm just copy this part and can just write it here start quarantine is sound like quarantine but it's not and um, we can also say else if else if um current current ammo is less is less than zero or equal to or equal to zero then we can also do this and we are not reloading this to make sure I put it outside the um outside the part okay I think that's how we do it and yeah we're going to go just copy this 
Then I'm going to go below uh, shoot right I want to create a an enum uh, I can't spell that in writer and want to say quarantine want to do this do this and say um when do is reloading is equal to true so it's true then want to wait yield new yield return new new wait for second wait for second want to wait the our reload time then want to say um Doing the yield, not sure that's okay. Don't say um far ammo needed will be our um maybe our magazine size will be our clip size yes clip magazine minus our current ammo. So it will check uh, how much ammo we need. Like if we need one, two, three, it will check how much ammo we need. Um, like. Uh, so for example I have my clip size is 30 and uh, my current ammo is 27 so I need 3 it, it will calculate that and var ammo ammo to give is equal to math f math f dot min ammo needed ammo needed by our current capacity and Mm, this is making sure that we take uh, the right amount of ammo uh, like um, we might need uh, to see how much ammo we need and from what uh, current current ammo plus equals to ammo to give and current capacity is minus equals to ammo to ammo to give so it will um, it will give the ammo to this and take the ammo from the current capacity and also is zero then is equal, equal to false and that should be true uh, I'm going to do more something more you want to want to shoot then you want to go below below or just above Shoot you want to do um current ammo minus minus this so it takes each time you shoot and it will take one times it's an end and uh, also when we are shooting we also want to check that we are not reloading yep. and that should be all or well, we also need to set uh, the images but uh, I'll just do that in a second like just see if it's working or not it's taking a sweet time compiling I really need to so get a better laptop or computer. But not now, I guess. It's still not done. Hmm. all this um, compiling we can take a look at uh, how I have um, done the text it's, it's isn't here is it here yep. that's my code GUI and if we go below I have done it there we go text on set text I can skip it ah, that should be all mm, yep 
and I go to visuals or we can create another header header um, UI and to create a stylized field no no just one second let me copy this here but you also need to write here that we are using um we are using using tm pro i think we are using the texans pro and it will uh, it will it will have the it will have the um, context and the parameters and the variable for us to do for us to use so protected protected text mesh text mesh as you can see text mesh text mesh pro gui it will write um clip I the computer seems to be burning up clip text and just uh, copy this line and also go down here and rather than clip and also cap not clip cap cap text and in 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 the update hmm so we need to do it on that this yes, might have to in in inputs want to do not text match want to do clip clip text down set set text it will be a uh, it was was it to, so it will be current ammo current ammo now we do to string and also clip on the cap cap text don't set text set text um, current capacity and capacity down to string so it, it it takes a string rather than a uh rather than a integer or any other value okay so it's and just save it quite quickly and now it should be working the zeros will change to how much we have and yeah Let's go to our AK seventy four. I don't know how how long the video is. I'm sorry about it if it's too big. And I'm also sorry about any background noises you might hear. It's all too much. Okay. And we'll do our current ammo will be zero our clip size will be 30 our mm, our capacity will be 24 and the time be will be zero down to one and also we need to do something here our current ammo is equal to our clip size at the start and our current capacity is equal to uh, max capacity at the start um, you should remember to do this otherwise it uh, would remain zero and not change also we need to give the ui to here mm. so the video isn't too long i can't edit Cap mm. I given it? I don't just let on my screen. Okay, cap mm. given this then 
Yes, clip. Let me just do this. Okay. So now let's play. Let's see everything should work out, hopefully. By the way, I haven't changed um, the muzzle flash not to shoot on awake, but it's easy to continue that. As you can see, it uh, just shot. And if we press F, we pick up the weapon. As you can see, it changed. Um, you can make this smaller or you can make this prettier by using for fonts, it's your choice. As you can see we shoot and if we press R takes this time and it takes from that and puts it into the clip. For now we have no reload animations. As you can see if I press R it takes the car it takes the correct amount and it uh, it gives it the clip. So yeah, that seems to be working and uh, if we press if you drop it uh, it won't go away but uh, I can change that but it is quite uh, bad in my opinion the way I, how I change it yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed um, I hope you learned something from here and uh, um, yeah just subscribe and like if you want to see more and uh, uh, I forgot uh, to zoom in the code but I'll zoom it in now so you can see clearly Zoom in and the uh, zoom in. Yep. Now I'm just quickly explain the just quickly. These are the variables we will need. Also this as well. And this is the UI, and we are setting our the ammo that we have on our player to how how much we can hold and how much we can uh, how much ammo we have in our magazine to the size of the clip. And also we are just uh, saying that if you run out of ammo, reload. If you press R, reload. And our we and we have we have ammo on our player to load. And we are setting these strings. And we are just then saying that reloading is true. And we want to wait for this second. Then we have to give give the ammo to the player. Then we have to say reloading is false. Now thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and. Cheers. See you later.